Greetings. Welcome to the GARTRAC Security Officer Video Training Series. I'm your host, Jason Smith. Video number one in this training series is basic report writing. One of the most important aspects of being a security professional is learning how to write an effective, useful security report. Your written documentation of events that occurred during your shift as a security professional will reflect on both you and your employer. The quality of your security report can have a significant impact on all parties involved long after the report is written and filed. It is because of this reason that great care and detail must be taken in writing a security report. The delicate subject of report writing will be broken into two separate video segments, basic report writing and advanced report writing. Some people might ask, why is the basic security report so important? The answer is quite simple. Just as a fiction author is judged on the quality of their novel, or a doctoral candidate is judged on the quality of their dissertation, so a security professional will be judged on the quality of their written report. In this profession, the quality of written documentation is an integral part of our work that separates an elite security organization from the rest. In this video, you will learn why such written documents can become so vital in our line of work. One of the primary reasons that the basic security report is so important is to understand who might actually read it. Many people in the security industry simply believe that the daily report is filed away in a cabinet somewhere, never to be seen again, or even discarded. The truth is, that your security report may become the center of attention in matters concerning both criminal and civil litigation. Your daily security report may be read by several entities, all with a different professional interest in your written document. Some of these entities include supervisors. Your supervisors will consider your report on a daily basis when considering how well you are doing your job. Because what you write down represents you as a professional, it could be that the quality of your reports is taken into consideration during your next performance appraisal. Risk management personnel. These individuals may review your report to identify and rectify high risk areas and procedures with regards to due process in helping to defend or protect your employer from civil liability issues. Police. If police are going to assist your organization in protecting your clients, they will need a detailed picture of what you did and said on any particular occasion. If your report is not accurate or complete, a criminal may walk away simply due to a technicality. Insurance companies. Insurance companies may be interested in your reports for the same reason that risk management personnel are. Your report could make the difference in decision making with regards to large amounts of money directly affecting your employer. Lawyers. In today's litigious society, it may be vital to provide your employer's legal team with the most accurate, descriptive, and effective documentation possible so as to provide adequate representation for your employer should the need arise. Administrators. These individuals who are not always connected with the security industry may consider your report as a gauge to the overall effectiveness of your security organization as it appears to other entities beyond the scope of our industry. Even judge and jury may carefully consider your writing in court matters and your security report may very well decide the outcome of a case. The truth of the matter is, there is a chance that very few people will read your report. But let me be clear, there is also a chance that your report may become the primary discussion point on the floor of the highest court in the country. Learning to write a quality security report is an art form, 
As with anything one aspires to be good at, that activity should and must be practiced. With some knowledge and repetition, you will be writing quality daily reports with minimal effort and little waste of resources. You will find that perfecting this skill will reflect well on you as a security professional and the security organization you work for. So how does the effective security professional ensure that nothing is left out in a daily report? Fortunately for us, there is a simple tool we can use to guarantee that our reports contain all necessary information in the correct order and with the proper amount of detail and academia needed to be considered high quality and effective. With that in mind, let's focus on the five C's of report writing. They are completeness, conciseness, clarity, correctness, and courtesy. We will now take this opportunity to review each of these in detail. The first C stands for completeness. It should be noted that all available and relevant information must be included in your daily report. People, actions, descriptions, identities, and statements, as well as environmental factors such as weather, time of day, and lighting must be accounted for. Your report should paint a complete and accurate picture of your shift from the time you start until you are off duty. If you think your finished report needs further explanation, it is not complete. The second C stands for conciseness. Your report should focus directly on the point. Avoid non-essential verbiage and eliminate any language or ideas that are not directly related to an incident or occurrence. A good rule of thumb when trying to be concise is to make your point accurately but with as few words as possible. The third C stands for clarity. Be as specific and clear as possible with your facts. Avoid estimations with regards to distance. It is always better to measure for accuracy. Never include what you think someone said. It is much better to quote them exactly. Finally, focus on language that is specific. For example, don't state that an individual had a weapon. Be more specific by stating whether the weapon was a gun or a knife or some other object. Your effort to be specific will help make your report as effective as possible. The fourth C is for correctness. Never assume you are right when preparing your report. Be ready to swear under oath that you practice due diligence in making sure you are as correct as possible. You may actually be asked to do just that. The final C stands for courtesy. Showing courtesy in your report is another way of making sure you are being fair to all parties involved. A report that demonstrates bias takes credibility away from the report itself and the officer who wrote it. Another helpful tool in writing a quality security report is the effective use of field notes. In an industry where specific facts are sacred, you should never trust your own memory. A pad of paper and writing utensil is an inexpensive yet valuable resource for recording facts for later use. This becomes even more helpful when making your guard track real-time log statements. Make sure your pad is small enough to take with you everywhere you might go during your shift, yet large enough to be comfortable to write on. Always have more than one pen or pencil to serve as a backup. So what are field notes used for? The primary purpose of field notes is to serve as a reference point for writing your daily report. It also helps you to keep specific facts in order for guard track log entries. Considering the large amount of information that must be kept accurate and in order in our industry, taking quality field notes allows you to free up mental resources for other observations and activities, making you a more efficient security professional. 
Field notes also serve to refresh your memory. This may become critical when writing your final guard track report at the end of your shift. It will help you recall exact quotes, times, contradictions, descriptions, and exact measurements with accuracy and completeness. Another function of field notes is to serve as a checklist to ensure that you have completed a thorough and proper investigation. Taking proper field notes allows you to showcase your abilities as an investigator. It should be noted that in a court of law, field notes often command more credit than a report because they were taken much closer to the time of an incident or occurrence. The importance of field notes should now be very obvious. Keep your field notes stored in a safe place for at least five years. Every individual will have their own method of taking field notes. Experience, however, has revealed some useful tips for making sure your field notes are as valuable and useful as possible. First, keep your field notes legible. If they cannot be read, they are of no use to you or anyone else. Make sure they are complete. Incomplete notes take credibility away from you as a professional and make writing your final report more difficult. Have a system in place. Make sure to have a procedure for taking field notes and follow it. This helps to establish consistency with regards to field notes and helps give you credibility in the long run. Make sure to use abbreviations that are common. If you cannot remember what your abbreviation means, your script becomes useless and confusing. Use all of the space on the page. This cuts down on having an overabundance of pages. The more pages of field notes you have, the greater chance you stand of losing a page or two. Develop your own style. This will help you become comfortable with how you take field notes. If you are comfortable with your system, you are more likely to follow it and take quality field notes. Don't wait. Write it down right away. Research shows that memory fades more quickly than people realize. The fundamental benefit of field notes is based on the idea that they are taken as close to the actual incident as possible, thereby increasing their credibility. Don't rip out any pages. It ensures your utmost integrity when field notes are complete and organized. Don't erase. This gives the idea that you might be unsure about facts. Rather, put a line through the text and rewrite the correct information. Do not make personal notes in your field notes. Be professional. Personal notes that have nothing to do with an investigation are difficult to explain on the stand. Avoid opinions. For obvious reasons, stick to the facts only. Finally, review what you write in your field notes. This will ensure that your field notes will be as useful and accurate as possible, not just to you, but to anyone who might need to refer to them. As we wrap up this training segment, Take a moment to think about what makes a quality written report. Remember to be complete, concise, courteous, correct, and clear in your report writing. Take quality field notes and have a system in place that helps you organize and recall facts, observations, and circumstances to the smallest, most critical detail. Make sure you write in such a way as to protect your honesty and integrity and remember that your daily report is an official document. Remember who might read it and always keep in mind that your writing represents both you and your employer. To ensure guard track certification, please continue on to the next guard track training course in advanced report writing. I'm your host, Jason Smith, thanks for watching.